In the lab here this morning and going through some analysis um, from a CT scan that we did just a little while ago, and uh, we're hoping spring is coming here soon in West Michigan, but it seems to be taking its time. So we've got the surf rock music on today just to kind of get the vibe a little bit better here in the lab. But uh, this video I wanted to show you guys is kind of a simplistic one, but we love it when it comes to, um, to looking at laser scanned uh, cross sections. So this part here, this plate, it's kind of a neat plate, uh, electrical uh, three-prong plug plate, but it's got an outlet for two USB plugs. And we have CT scanned this thing. So if I look at the CT scan, show you guys that, it's CT scan is just beautiful, of course. So, but what we've done is we've cut a cross section already through this this part right through here because it's important for a client to understand this wall height here and understand it along that entire cross section. So what I've done is I have taken and I've put some caliper measurements along there, but I want to show you that because it is very powerful to look at different places along that cross section. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just hide the part. Here's the cross section. I can still move it around, but what I can do is run up to this which is the gauges icon. And if I click on that with a left mouse, this icon right here, which is the cross section calipers. If I punch on him, notice what I get. I get this dialog box over here. I am gonna give this a name. I've always given all these uh, cross sections or these calipers names, and it's all based on a balloon drawing. So in this video, let's just say that this is going to be my dim 45-1, who knows? We'll, we'll give it some kind of a, a number here so that it matches what the balloon drawing actually is. And I can come to this icon here, and what this does is this is just a single axis. What it does then is it gives me, or if I hit anchor, it's gonna give me the ability here with this pencil, you can kind of see if I click right about there, Oh, see, it's giving me an axis relative to this zone here. Notice, I gosh, I can't, that doesn't really give me such a good axis coming down. I might miss the part there. So I'm going to escape out of that, hit anchor again, and then maybe I'll start from the bottom. Let's go here and then come up. Okay, you guys see that where I'm normal to the surface of that bottom part of the leg, and then it comes up to this portion here, and it gives me a caliper check. So this is kind of a quick way just to show your client um, a virtual caliper as if, or it should be very close to mimicking what a caliper, um, like a manual check, would, would deliver. But the other thing I wanted to show you guys is that if, uh, if this angle came down, it was always off, or it wasn't quite what you wanted to do, you've got the ability here to move and give you two different offset axes. So I'm going to punch on that here a second. We'll say that this is going to be this DIM 45-2. So let me punch on that a second, and I'll go anchor. And then if I wanted to start in this same zone, just before that tangent. Now if I come down, and if I wanted to move any place along here, along this bottom foot, I'm going to go right over here. Notice what it does. It gives me an offset axis so I can punch down here and get the uh, get the dimension. They're pretty close, a couple thousandths difference. But it's an easy way to go through this entire part and just check as if it was a virtual caliper that you were doing these checks with. 